Now, let's... Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. <laughs> Wait, what hurt? How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. <laughs> Another crane. Find clothes from Sigurd. Oh. Seems that only rotates in the other direction. Oh, I'm about to find a lot of people. See, I knew it. So this outpost is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of going off these people before she joined the Killed me with one shot. Kidding me? I think I want to get the wolves and go back. I want to do all this, um, these side missions on the side. I just want to go through the story. Only focus on the story. See how long the story is. We could always come back to these, of course. Yeah, I want. I want to go back. Let us go back. I can hold on to those crests from Vanaheim, if you don't mind. Let's go get the wolves and leave this place. Your best thing in <laughs> The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. All right, maybe. You were asking about my last visit to the Norns. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. All right. Another. We need to work our way up. This Are way.
I remember, um... There. Can you cut a way through the ice? <gasps> oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> Strong man. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire on your left. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. <sighs> I'm going to Canada at Christmas. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. brother you cannot how dare you how dare you kill the the creator okay the the the, the gamer who gave, plays the game okay who's trying who's who, who's who has come here to kill you all right you're about to die but now let me kill you guys first <laughs> Maybe this is it. This way. I think this is it. Open up. Open up. Empty again? No, it's not empty. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> Alright. Are they here? 
Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. Be ready for anything. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. I need some more heals, that's what I need. Why did you run away? Why did she run away? What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> This place almost looks almost. familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <sighs> oh wait, At Atreus was here too. Freya of the Vanier, Master of Man, Queen of the Whoa. I was trying to hit RT and um, I didn't know they were gonna punch me from the back. I mean, stab me from the back. That's so unfair, isn't it? They're, they're so unfair. They're so unfair. And that's so not fair. Stabbing me on the back? Mm -mm. Not doing it, bro. Not doing it. Something I would never do to you guys, you know? I, I never hit you in the back. Like, I always come to your face and I hit you. I never hit you in the back. That's so not, not mainly, okay? I'm about to come back, and you're about to die. You are about to die. Let me, let me get... Where is this thing? Yeah, it's this. Let's go. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, 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 oh,
Different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. them from going behind you the Know it all, and I cannot change. See, you forgot, smartest man alive. It's a, it's a power that you hit B. It gives you that new sword. Which is very cool. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Here it is. What is that? What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aimed from the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! It's horrible when it blows! Rolls in! Attack! <laughs> 
Swim. Oh. My hands are sweating. Sweating, sweating, sweating. All right, let's get it. Let's go back. They're not what is that? A phantom. Rogue magic. Aim for the runic core. Bloody hell, look at that thing! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Well, yet another gift oh, of Thimbleweed. Oh, that's good stuff. Suppose. The magic draining that's out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Ooh, -hoo. that was good stuff. More heals? I need more heals. Oh, I already have good heals. Let me plug this charger in really quickly. Piece of broken amulet of Yggdrasil. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. In that cave just ahead. Come on, man. We've been running for these Norns this whole time. <laughs> I wonder what Atreus is up to. <clears throat> He's probably still asleep. Duh. So dark. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Bobbling. He's terrified. I can tell. He doesn't like ladies whispering in his ears like that. A door. Oh, that was big guy's coming, right? I can feel it. Did what you must. Brother, the thief had torn me in. 
Come here. Atreus, I am coming. What the heck? Why did you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A, A horse. horse. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Wow. Easy, girl. Easy. That's, a cute That's horse. right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. Oh, this is cool. This is cool, cool, cool. This is so cool. Keep up. For more like this. Alright, keep up. Let's go. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by good reputation. Life. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespect. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Kratos, I mean, the god of war, the game, gets more beautiful and beautiful every time. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. 
The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a, be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Oh. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> wow. Can I go back? I can't go back. Can I go kill him? I wanna go kill him. Annoying. Freya, let's go, my lady. I follow you. This side? Not this side? Okay, this side. Let us leave this place. Happily. It is under the water. It is underwater. I <laughs> better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Huh. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother. What they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Uh, what's gonna happen now? Well, we just got a new news that Atreus is going to die. 
That's an that's something new. So that means we can change things. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Strongest man um, in, the, in the universe, in the galaxy. Up there. Zeus. Kill Zeus. <clears throat> I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Can we agree? It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Uh, uh... Whoa. That's a... That mind blown. My mind is blown. One over here. Where's that one? Where this story. You were saying the sisters of fate abused their power. They did. So I killed them and turned their power on. Their power on Zeus. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. What a Your choice, brother. Hmm. What unfinished business she's talking about? Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Oh, okay. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. 
any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. What is that supposed to be? Excuse me, sir. Could I have a yeah, moment of your sure. time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What do you want, man? Let's talk. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing the capture device, if you would. All right. Thank you. You're back. Simmer down. They're back. I see them. Whatever you need, I'll create. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help oh, oh. you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh... You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Huh. <laughs> Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... <laughs> so now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him.
I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos? Whenever you're ready. <sighs> the lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well, Linda. See you out there. I'm in seven seconds of them. I'm in seven All right. Alrighty guys, um, thank you for watching, uh, well, it was a, well, we're, we're, been doing, we covered a lot, covered a lot of the story, excuse me, um, what time is it over here, it's, um, 3.30 in the morning over here, and, um, I've been doing this for you guys, so I don't miss it, uh, every single day. Uh, today I was a little busy, didn't have time during the day to do it, so I was like, I have to do it. Um, I don't want to miss another episode each day, and um, just get finished together. Um, and I know you guys have been waiting for next episodes each day, so I, I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. But thank you for watching. Please um, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the other videos, the upcoming future videos of Kratos and his son and Tyr and Freya and now Odin and Thor so a lot has happened um, let's see next episode we'll be expecting a lot of more like more like going to you know finding the materials and things like that to 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 make the weapon and uh, be able to kill um, the Heimdall Apparently he's very strong, and I personally don't know who Hamdahl is. Um, so I'm super excited to see who he is and beat him just like he beat his son, uh, his father Zeus, which he was st the strongest man alive. So the strongest god actually, he was the god of gods. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey.